Hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about break statement in C program. So, whenever we are using this break statement in the C program, suppose if this break is used inside a loop, so what happens means uh, the loop immediately the cursor will come out of the loop, the loop is immediately terminated and the program control resumes to the next statement following the loop. That means uh, the cursor comes out of the loop, the loop is uh, immediately it will terminated okay? and the cursor comes out of the loop. So whatever may be the statements uh, which are written outside the loop, those statements will be executed. Okay, so whenever we are using break statement inside a loop, what happens? The loop immediately terminates and the cursor comes out of the loop and whatever may be the statements which are written outside the loop, those statements will be executed. Okay, so it is also used, we can also use this break statement within the switch case also. So, whenever we are using this break statement within the switch case, that case will be terminated immediately. Okay, so the syntax for break is just a break followed by semicolon. This is the syntax for break. Okay, now let me explain this break uh, statement with an example program so that you will get better clarity. Okay, so now let me show the execution using break statement. Okay, so here if you see, first of all, I have included header files stdevo and conevo.h. And coming to the main function here, i is initialized with, with 1. So, i is the variable which I am going to use in the loop. And n is the number that is assigned with 5. Okay. So, here while i is less than or equal to n. Okay. If this condition is true, the cursor will come out of the loop, will come into the loop. Okay. So, printf i value is printed on the output screen and i plus plus i is incremented to 1. Okay. If this condition is true, if i is equal to 3, then it has to break. Break means it has to come out of the, it has to terminate the loop immediately. And whatever may be the statements which is written outside the loop, that statement will be executed. Okay. So, this is the program. So, see here, first i is 1. So, 1 is less than or equal to 5. Condition is true. So, the cursor comes into the loop. Printf i, that is 1 is printed on the output screen i plus plus now i becomes 2 okay if i equal to 3 is i equal to 3 no right so the control goes to the while loop so 2 is less than or equal to 5 condition is true so printf 2 is printed on the output screen so i plus plus now i becomes 3 it will check for this condition if i is equal to 3 yes i is equal to 3 condition is true so it has to break break means it has to come out of the loop that means it has to terminate the loop so after terminating the loop so whatever may be the statement which is written here that statement has to execute so 1 2 and this statement has to be our output right so let me compile the code first of all so no errors let me run the code so see here 1 2 and this is how break statement works so this is the statement which I have written outside the while loop so that statement has been executed so, like this uh, break statement works uh, within the while loop, within a loop, any loop you can use this break statement, not only within the while loop, any loop, within any loop you can use. So, the main purpose of this is it will just terminate out of the loop, okay. Whenever you are using break the uh, statement, this break statement uh, immediately it will terminate out of the loop and whatever may be the statements which are written outside the loop, those statements will be executed. Okay, not only within the loops, in the switch case also we can use this break statement. So, there it will just terminate that case. Okay, in the later video I will explain about the switch case uh, and also where, uh, how we are you going to use this break statement within the switch case also we are going to learn in that videos. Okay, thank you.